welcome back candidates aspiring to become pilots in the services pbt or cpss will be held compulsorily for all those desiring to join the flying branch of the air force navy or the army you will be aware that all the branches now have including coast guard pilots are required and they are put through basics of pbt and cpss now during my session i will be dividing it into three parts part one will be a basic introduction to the concepts and the purpose of conducting pbt cpss and then how do we go about doing the pbt test and or the cpss test now step one what is the requirement the concept for pbt the concept for pbt is to test whether you have the aptitude to become flying officers or pilots in these defense services the purpose is to check your attitude your concentration the coordination of your limbs your stress level your perception level what we call it as your planning third is your movement and coordination of limbs and the senses to sum up the reflexes now as i take you along let me now distribute the way that we are going to put through this complete package you are to be looked out for your personal skills these personal skills are of your iq that is your aptitude your eq emotional quotient and third is your motor reflexes the coordination of your limbs and the senses aptitude do you have it in you to become a pilot in defense services requiring extreme diligence concentration because of question of your life when you are going for a war you are expected to act respond as early as possible by inflicting maximum damage to the enemy aircrafts maximum damage to the enemy vulnerable areas and vulnerable points next let us see what are these two tests that are conducted in pbt in pbt you will put through two main test test first one will be your written test call instruments are shown in the cockpit statements are given you got to tick the ideal statement which matches with the instruments shown to you second test is also called practical test or machine test where you may be made to sit in a cockpit and asked to identify the various instruments and statements are given below and these instruments will be indicating activities that you got to coordinate all of them simultaneously while you are flying so as i move on to the next session in detail about pbt we have to understand the concept of pbt the concept of conducting pbt is that you become a service pilot who's active the purpose is to check out and identify your personal skills like i mentioned earlier your motor reflexes skills your concentration your stress level as also the application at that point of time the situations you face now a brief about the cpss with the advent of new electronic equipment and instruments a new aircraft it is expected that the younger pilots know how to use it or to handle it and understand it so therefore as a trial measure these days the test is conducted on computerized pilot selection system which is again a game and in any case both are games the pbt and cpss for the time being till cpss comes into complete focus pbt will continue you got to clear the pbt as part of the phase 3 of screening and test procedures ssb screening test consists of your verbal non verbal reasoning test called oir officer intelligence rating number 2 is your 
PT and DT or picture perception, story writing, discussion. And third for flying branch only, those who have opted for it, is CPSS and PABT. I'll move on to the next phase in detail, having made you understand the concept of PABT and CPSS is to find out, do you have it in you to become a pilot in the services? And the purpose is to check out in your motor reflexes, IQ, EQ in circumstances and situations given to you. Thank you.